It is a one mile stretch of road that's been under construction for more than three years. Tonight, the Ones for Justice uncovering a troubling pattern about the contractor at the center of all of this. Investigative reporter Alana Otler is looking into this and here is, is here with what she has learned tonight. Alana? Doug, when the city of North Richland Hills wanted to expand Roof Snow Drive, council members chose a contractor out of Grapevine, a company with the lowest bid by a million dollars. Call it what you want, a headache, a nuisance, a hassle. But to Rick Folletti, it's a travesty. And, you know, when I say travesty, it's because it's an effect on our family, personally. He's talking about a construction project, a plan to expand just 1.25 miles of Roof Snow Drive. Not only has construction snarled traffic for roughly 31,000 commuters. Who would want to come over here and try to cross this traffic? The work is more than a year behind schedule. Construction was supposed to wrap by February 28, 2018. But the contractor, Kodiak Trenching and Boring, has pushed back the deadline more than six times. And for every day Kodiak misses that original date, it's fined 1285 bucks, racking up more than $362,000 in damages and counting. Just throwing fines on somebody is not going to make the project get completed any faster. It's not the only time Kodiak's fallen behind. The Ones for Justice reviewed Kodiak's other contracts across DFW. For some projects, clients say Kodiak finished without hiccups. But we found half a dozen projects that went over deadline. A developer for two Fort Worth projects says Kodiak bit off more than they could chew. And work was so slow in Frisco and Keller, the city's collected $185,000 in fines. Since 2017, Kodiak has been sued at least 30 times over unpaid invoices. The total amount, $4.3 million. Most settled out of court. Some are still pending, which is why no one with the city of North Richland Hills would talk to us. But emails from officials make it clear. They know about the money problems. In January, the public works director mentioned Kodiak's outstanding financial issues. Through email, we asked Kodiak several questions about the delays. The company answered none of them. So we approached the owner, Matt Mahone, at his office. He's been sued 30 times for not paying on time. Why is that? Mr. Mahone, what do you say to the. Mr. Mahone, what do you say to the people who live on roof snow, who work on roof snow, who have to live with this project? That's what bothers Folletti the most, not the cones or the congestion. It's the silence. My tax dollars, my neighbor's tax dollars, our business's sales tax revenue, all going to support this travesty of a project. I did want to share that statement from Kodiak. The company wrote in part, we will not point fingers nor assess blame. Barring unforeseen challenges, we expect to have this project completed by mid-year. And you can read that full statement online. We'll post it on CBSDFW.com. Doug? I have two questions, but I'm scared to ask. I'm going to admit it. <laughs> uh, first of all, how do you have any idea as to when this project is going to end? And if you do have that information, how can we trust the information? So the city says that the latest update is July 2019. That is when it it is expected to finish. We should note the city has not moved that deadline for several weeks, so this may be it. But if you want to keep up with the latest updates, visit the city of North Richland Hills online, and any changes will be posted there. And we're also going to put that on our website. So I think you really just have to keep checking their website. So far, for the past few weeks, no changes as of yet. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Thanks for uh, bridging the gap and telling us what's going on. We appreciate it as always. If you need justice, Alana's here for you. Call the Ones for Justice hotline 817. 586 7211, or you can email her justice at cbs.com.